invite you as a congregation to be seated. The choir is going to begin this morning with a prelude. So again, I invite the congregation to be seated when we're ready. I welcome you to our worship service here at Bethel United Church of Christ in Evansville, Indiana. I'm Reverend Samuel Buer, and I'm pleased to say that no matter who you are or where you are on life's journey, you are welcome here, here in this place where we strive to be united in seeking God's will and in serving all people. So again, we welcome all of those that are gathered with us this morning for worship here with us in person, as well as those that are joining with us online. One of our traditions that we have as a congregation is that every month we, ha we focus on one special offering. And the offering that we've been focusing on this past month, or this month, is because of the Christmas season, we know that there are some families among us uh, that we're not going to be celebrating a Christmas this year. And so we've been taking up donations to buy Christmas gifts and also food for them. And so if you want to mark a special offering or make a special offering for that, uh, just put Christmas gifts and then we'll know what that offering is for. And again, after the service, we invite, again invite you to our Wassail event. And then also next Sunday, our congregation earlier this year, back in the wintertime, when we saw that Christmas Eve was last, landing on a Sunday, we, so we asked the congregation, well, how would you like to worship next Sunday for Christmas Eve? And so we decided not to do any morning services, but to have a 4 p.m. candlelight service. Usually we do that in the evening, but we moved it to 4 p.m., so be mindful of that this coming Sunday, 4 p.m. candlelight 
candlelight service with no services in the morning. I believe we're ready to worship with the bells. I just now to turn to the call to worship for this day. This Advent, we hope and pray. Joy as we journey together. Sight for the blind and healing for the sick. Freedom for the prisoners and good news for the poor. Release for the oppressed with justice for all and love for each other. And the coming of God's topsy-turvy, inside-out, upside-down kingdom. I would invite those who are able to rise as we sing, Joy to the World. this third Sunday of Advent, we hear Mary's song, a rising song. When Mary sang, she rejoiced in God, her Savior, for she knew that God had done great things. God had filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. God brought the powerful down from their thrones and lifted the lowly. Through Mary, God was bringing the promise of joy that God had made it to our ancestors. And so today we light the candle of joy. I invite you, the congregation, to be seated. We invite all the children that would like to come forward for a children's message this morning for Tamara to lead. So again, we invite the children that are with us to come forward for a children's message at this time. Come on down and sit on the steps or on the floor, okay? Yeah, you can sit on the floor too. It doesn't have to be the step. Yeah, that works. Come on. Come on. Oh, that's it. Yeah, you can sit right here. You can stay here. 
way too. Sit in this chair. Let me come down. Oh my goodness. Good morning, everybody. I think they're still asleep. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Miss Tamara, and I'm so happy to be here with you this morning. I'm so glad to see all your faces. Does anybody bless you know what this says what does it say what joy very good yes it says joy what does joy mean what it's another way of saying happiness happiness. that's exactly right do you know we hear this word a lot at this time of year don't we at christmas time do you hear the word joy an awful lot yeah me too i hear it we just sang a song with it right What song did we just sing? That's right, Joy to the World. Does anybody have, this is a decoration from my house. I hang this up at Christmas time. And I have some other Christmas decorations that say joy. Uh, My father-in-law even has a lighted joy sign in his yard. Why, Why is that so important? I mean, we're happy at other times of year, aren't we? But at Christmas time, joy feels a little more special, more than just being happy, right? Joy... Uh, it's, it's just a, a real warm, special feeling we keep deep in our heart at Christmas time. And in fact, joy is so special. Do you look up there and see the Advent wreath? Right here, the purple and the pink candles. Joy is so special that we lit the pink candle today to remind us to always keep that special feeling of joy deep in our heart. Okay, but what else is so special about joy? Well, we already said that. Okay, let's, let's talk about how we can remember to keep that joy. Look at the letters. The first letter, J. These are some smart kids. Keep it up. <laughs> yeah. Good job. I'm impressed. Yeah. J is also the first letter in Jesus, right? So J, we look at, when we see the word J, we look at J for Jesus And remember that Jesus is a gift from God. He came to us as a baby to teach us what love is all about. And the second letter is O. Very good. O is for others. To remind us to show joyful love and care to others, especially those who might be sad or hurt. Right? And we show our care for others. And what's the last letter? Y. Y. And Y is for you. You are a gift from God. Jesus wants to know that you are special. You are loved. Now, I want you to look out. Look out at all those people out there in the pews. Your moms and dads and grandmas. Can you see them all? All right. Here's what we're going to do. Okay. Look at them. Point out at them. Point at them. And you're going to repeat after me. Okay. Say it loud. You are special. You are loved. Did you hear that, everybody? Very good. Hey, you know what? I think they like that so much, they might want to say it back to you. Do you think so? Okay. You are special. You are loved. Okay. We're going to count to three and see if they say it. One, two, three. You are special. You are loved. That's amazing. Do you guys know that? You are special. You are loved. Okay. I have one more reminder about joy. Can I have that bag right there? Yeah. Let's see what's in here. Mm. What is this? What is it when I turn it upside down? Which way does it go? It's a J. So when you see a candy cane and you think of it upside down, you see that joy, will that help you remember joy? And you'll keep joy in your heart all the time? Okay. All right. (laughs) You could also eat them. That'll help you remember joy too. Okay. Would you like to pray with me? Okay. Let's fold our hands. Okay. That's okay. Fold your star points. (laughs) Dear God, thank you for joy. Thank you for sending Jesus. We pray for others who are sad hurting, or need help. 
and we are joyful that God has given us all of the yous out there. Jesus, please help us to keep joy in our hearts all year round. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And our story begins. Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive a child in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. Joseph, son of David, do not fear to take Mary as your wife, for the child conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit, she will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. And so the journey to Bethlehem goes on. In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world would, should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth to Galilee to Judea to the city of David called Bethlehem because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. And so I invite Mary and Joseph to come forward. And while they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son, and wrapped him in bands of cloth, and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. When blossoms flower and mid the snows upon a winter night was born the Christ, the Christmas rose, the King of love and light. The angels sang, the shepherds sang, the grateful earth rejoiced. Again the heart 
heart with rapture glows to greet the holy night that gave the world its Christmas rose, its king of love and light. Let every voice acclaim his name, the grateful chorus swell. From paradise to earth he came, that we with him might dwell. And suddenly there was with the angels a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God, saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. And so I invite the angels and the stars to come up here. All the stars and the angels. They went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told to them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed. 
But Mary treasured all these things in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told them. And so the shepherds and the, and the animals come. <laughs> The wise men set out, and there, ahead of them, went the star that they had seen at its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid homage. Then opening their treasure's chest, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And so the wise men are coming forward.
And so now I want to say on behalf of everyone, we wish you a wonderful and Merry Christmas. And now I invite all of the kids here to go to Children's Church, and I'm not sure where, oh, there we go. So if you go all the way to the back of the church, somebody will be there to greet you. You wanna try it? I'll go. Don't forget all the other kids in the audience. Again, we invite all the children that are out here, come join us and, and follow Lisa back to Children's Church. Again, moms and dads, you can pick them up in the, in the preschool area after the service is over in the chapel there. So, so. Already had the sermon with what the children did with what was up here. But earlier this week, I was in a gathering with some ministers and one of the pastors was asked to give a brief message and her name was Mary. And she talked about her name, Mary, in light of the Christmas season and such as that. And then she talked about, she said, I can really understand Christmas really well with birth and things. And she was a mom and a grandma. And she talked about babies being born in Bethlehem. And then she talked about peace in Bethlehem. Where there is no peace this day. But babies are still being born in Bethlehem today and yesterday and tomorrow where there is no peace. And so the Christmas prayer this day, when we get to the words and hear about peace and justice, may we truly mean them this day for peace in Bethlehem for the babies being born. So join with me now in the Christmas prayer this day. This is Christmas, and like the shepherds, we praise God for the birth and life of the Christ child. Like the angels, we sing the songs that remind us of that night long ago in Bethlehem. Like Mary and Joseph, we open our hearts to the love of God, to receive the most precious gift of all, God's Son, Jesus. And like the wise men, we bring our gifts the promise to bring God's peace and justice and love to all the corners of the earth. Then truly, the angel's music will fill the heavens once again. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace. Let us now be in a time of silence as we offer up our prayers to God. And now let us join together in the prayer that our Savior has taught us as we pray these words. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And I is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. I would invite those who are able to rise as we sing, Hark the Herald Angels Sing. Oh, uh -huh. 
We all have gifts to offer to God, gifts of our time, our talents, and our treasures. Let us pray together as we dedicate these gifts to God now in this time. Here we are, O Lord. May what we offer make a road straight and smooth, a highway fit for you. May it go to fill in the valleys, level off the hills, smooth out the ruts, and clear out the rocks. May your will be done through us and our gifts. Amen. And now as we come to the close of the service, we come to this time of benediction. Go out into the world, into God's world, and be joyful. Pray constantly and be grateful. Listen to hard truths. Be curious, avoid evil, and hold to what is good. Until we see Christmas become an everyday reality, may this be so. Amen. I invite you all to be seated for a moment as Stella sings, Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas.
Thank you, Stella, for sharing your talents with us all. This service has ended, but your service now begins as you usher in a place of peace, love, and joy in our hearts, in our families, in the world around us. May that work be done. Amen. Go in peace, my friends. Join us for the wassail. Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas.